Oh no no. The laptop is tweaking out. Okay. So we're back again on Moho Pro. These layers are nowhere to be seen because I factory reset in my laptop so I'd be able to download MMD. Today I'm going to teach you how to add bones to your ready-made model. And it's only now that I'm realizing that, um, I feel like there's supposed to be two over here. Anyway, it's a little bit late, but here we are. So, to add bones, I think we might want to get rid of these. Okay, so to add bones, you probably already have this folder here containing all these other folders that have body parts inside of them. So if you don't already, select all of your folders or layers and make them into a, a one big group and then just name the group if you want to. What we're gonna do is turn this group into a bone. So you're gonna right click and convert to bone. Now, as you can see, it's turned into a bone. Great, and as you can also see, this has appeared. So now you can switch between editing layers and editing bones. So, if you want to add bones, you go on here, or A. And you can just go ahead and start adding your bones. So we're gonna add the head bone. I don't like I don't like this. Please don't mind the I don't have the most high empty other. There we go. And then add bones for this arm. Then add leg bones. And now we have a skeleton. But this isn't where things end, unfortunately. So the next thing we're going to do is check the strength of the bones. And you're probably wondering, what the heck are you on about? The bones have strength. Yes, they do. They have strength on whatever body part they're on top of. So, in order to check the bone strength, you go here, or S. Yeah. So, what I usually do is make sure that the bones cover the body part that they're controlling at an appropriate level. And just make it so that the bone strength for like an arm is covering the entire torso too. And the hair. That would be a little bit. Okay. So now we have the bone strength. Okay. So now that you have adjusted the bone strength that isn't the end but for now we can like test out the bones if you want to so to do that we're gonna go on manipulate bones or z and just like try and move the bones around it's already looking quite good but like we don't need the head bone to move the entire <laughs> we don't need the head bone to move the entire thing well this is basically what happens when uh you basically don't attach the layers to their respective bones so we're gonna do just that we're gonna start with the head the and let's say you're on the bone layer because you can't move bones if you're on a regular layer you have to be on the bone layer to 
move or any bones to manipulate the bones so what you're gonna do if you're already on the top layer and you want to select a specific layer without looking through them is you're gonna hold down alt and then right click on the layer you want and that takes you there instantly to attach this head layer onto this bone oh my days my laptop what are you doing okay to attach this head layer onto this bone you're gonna select the bone which is already selected select the layer you want to attach to the bone and then once it's selected you uh, do control shift F and then the bone turns bold, bold red so you're gonna do that for every other layer every single layer that you want to attach to that bone cool now if we want to move the head bone hmm. maybe let's attach everything correspondently before we start doing anything funny <laughs> so I'm gonna attach the left arm to the left arm bones And I think I'm forgetting something important. Yes, I am forgetting something important. I am so dumb. I'm very sorry. So <laughs> if we want to make sure that the bones move the way they're supposed to, we need to make sure that they're parented to the correct bone. I can't believe I forgot this and I was wondering why it wasn't working. In order to do that, we're going to select the bone that you want. We've already selected a bone, or you can just go B and then select. And then we are going to go on this. Oh, no, no, no. Wrong one. Wrong one. Hold on. Which one is it? This. Reparent bone or P. As you can see, nothing is, <laughs> nothing is parented. Okay. Um. This needs to be parented to this. Well, I can't parent it if it's already. So if you want to unparent a bone, just click off anywhere. And you have to keep going back and forth between uh, selecting the bone and reparenting the bone. Because otherwise, if you click a bone while you're still unparenting, it will parent it to a different bone. If you go on B, select a different no oh what are you doing why are you just gracing me in front of the professionals select a bone parent the bone this is parented to this which is parented to this which is good this is parented to this then select this parent it to the torso instead parented to this parent to this this I don't think it necessarily has to be parented we're just gonna leave that unparented and same for this the whole thing is, was tangled now we're good now we've got a good skeletal structure now if we finally try to move the head there we go people Everything is moving the way it's supposed to. Uh-huh. I can tell you're probably already excited because you got it to work. But that's not all. The next thing we're going to do is bones for the eyes. 
and bones for certain rigs. So that would be bones for the blinking and the smiling animation, which is just going to be, I think, around one, two, three, one, two, three, seven extra bones. So the first one we're going to do is the bones for the eyes so you can move them around. Can I do one here? And do one here. And then a bone to parent those two bones too. So you just click as a dot. That's what I do at least. So we're gonna sort out these bones first before we move on to anything else. So what you're gonna do to attach the eye elements to this bone is select the bone. What the flip? Select the bone. Thank you. Alt right click. Then you're gonna go on to, um, I don't remember what it's called exactly, but the key for it is I. What is this? Bind point, yeah, that's what it's called. So the bone's already selected, so all you need to do is just, you know, go G to select the layer, go back to I, and then bind the points. And as you can see, the points are the same color as this bone, which means that they're attached to this bone. Then you're going to do the same for other layers within the bone. Hold on. Editor Z here. I think this is the point in the footage where my mic stopped working because it ran out of battery. So I'm just going to voice over from now on. I don't exactly remember what I said, but I'll try my best to interpret whatever I see on the footage so I can teach you to the best of my ability. At this point, once you've binded all the layers to their respective bones, you now need to attach them to the bones like you did with all the other body parts. So you'd have to go on out. Uh, right click and right click the layer that you want or just select it since the layers are already open and proceed to connect them to the layer by pressing Control shift f Once you're done doing that you're going to Check the bone parenting and make sure that the two eye bones are connected to the, the one dotted bone in the middle. I remember I struggled here a little bit because the middle bone was already parented and you can't parent other bones to a bone if that bone is already parented and I, it took me a, bit, a little bit to figure it out but eventually I got there. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and make sure that the middle bone is parented to the head bone so that the head doesn't move without the eyes and then they just go out of socket, which is a little bit weird. Then we're going to move on to the bone strength and you need to make sure that the strength for the eye bones are covering the eyes adequately. And I think there was a certain point in time where I forgot that the bone in the middle doesn't have any bone strength. At this point in time, I tried to manipulate the eyes to see if they would move along with the middle bone, but they didn't. And I'm assuming that that's just my laptop having a problem because sometimes I don't exactly see things actually happen within the timeline or the software in general, just because my laptop is, is just tweaking out and yeah. I'm pretty sure we did everything right unless we didn't. In that case, I'll see if there's a solution for that. We're now moving on to the bones that we use to do actions. So the blinking and the smiling 
and that will be explained in the next Moho Pro tutorial where I will explain how to do actions. I tried to copy paste the bones that I had already made because that's usually what I do. But Moho was not cooperating today, or rather my laptop just didn't feel like working, so I just add the bones like normal using the bone tool. In order to make identifying the bones much easier, all you need to do is select the bone you want, go up here, and just basically name it. The next thing you need to do is click show label so that the name of the bone appears next to it and you can easily see it. When you're doing these bones, you need to make sure that they have no strength because they're not controlling any body parts. I decided to do a little test afterwards. It's working just fine, but the eyes just won't move and I'm thinking that I did something wrong. But as far as I remember, I did everything the way I'm supposed to because I'm pretty sure this is how I did it for every other model that I have and it works perfectly fine. So I don't really know what's going on. So uh, if I find the solution to it, I'll let you know in the next video. Make sure your action bones aren't parented. It doesn't really make much of a difference, but sometimes I found that they are parented to the previous bone or they were parented to the head and then they'd keep moving and it was a little bit inconvenient trying to get my character to blink if literally the bone was moving every time I moved the head. Here I did some adjustments to see if I could get the eyes to work, but I couldn't. Like I said, I'll let you know in the next video if I found out a fix. And here we're done. So I just decided to test out the movement a little bit, like the knees, the arms and everything to see if everything was the way it should be. And with that, our tutorial comes to an end. I hope you managed to learn something from me and I'll see you in the next video where I'll be teaching you how to make actions in Moho Pro, which is essentially the same thing as the parameters in Live 2D, but instead of like points on each side, you basically, you know what? I'm not gonna spoil too much. I'll see you then.